welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today's video is exciting because I am doing another huge haul. This is a Forever 21 clothing haul, spring summer edition, because I have a lot of really pretty dresses and things like that that are just going to be perfect for the summertime. Now I would say a lot of this sale is more dressy than it is casual. So I do have a lot of great deals in terms of getting things like 30% off the sale prices and things like that. But I also do have a few full priced items as well. So first things first, let's just get this one out of the way because it's not too exciting. But everyone would love just a basic black t-shirt. This t-shirt is almost, I would describe as in between like a full size t-shirt and a crop top in a way because it is short but it's not so cropped. And lately I love my crop tops but I do want things to be a little bit longer. That way I can actually tuck them into a skirt for the summertime. So I really like that style. Now this was full price because I found this in store as opposed to finding it online in like the sales section. And this is in a size medium and the price is $15.90, which seems a little excessive for like a plain black t-shirt, but it actually has a lot of nice details on it. It has some pretty ruching in the center. It is a v-neck, which I find very flattering. It is almost identical to the shirt that I'm wearing now. So it is really good quality and the material is quite thick. $15 is a lot for a t-shirt for me. You're going to see some things that I'm buying that you're going to say, what? You bought this like gorgeous dress for $9 and this t-shirt for $15. But it just happens to work out that way. Speaking of plain t-shirts, this is my last sort of basic item. But lately I've been really into basics if you've been following along with my hauls. I just want some plain simple things. So I picked up this t-shirt. It is in the size medium. The price was $12.90 which is actually not bad for a t-shirt. I mean, it feels a little bit better to be paying under $15 for a t-shirt. This is just for the scoop neck white t-shirt. The material seems to be thick, but there are these like vertical lines going down, which might make this look a little bit transparent actually, but it should be nice because it is thick, but it is light enough to wear in the summertime. And the good thing about a scoop neck t-shirts, even though I prefer a V, is that it can look a little bit more casual and relaxed. So this will be great for just running errands or like dressing down an outfit. Surprisingly, this is <laughs> this is my more casual thing. We're gonna be getting a little bit dressier as we go on, but these pants were so cute. My sister Jen actually liked these pants because she saw them in store and I kind of just said, wait, maybe they'll go on sale. I mean, the original price wasn't bad. So I got these in a size medium. The original price was $22.90, which is really great for a pair of high-waisted pants, but I paid these $11.20. Forever 21 was having like online sales lately, so I took advantage of that. And this is for these really pretty polka dot pants. The pattern is exactly what Julia Roberts wore in Pretty Woman. It is this almost like brown or like really burnt, burnt orange sort of look with white polka dots. I really am having a Pretty Woman moment with these, but they're really cute. I got them in a size medium because they seem to be stretchy and they don't have like the tie string around the waist that you can tighten them. So I didn't want them to be too big and like baggy. Usually when they have a tie string, I'll size up and get a size large. But since they didn't, I got the size medium and hopefully they look good. The only problem is, is that sometimes when I get a size medium, they can be a bit shorter on me, which I hate. But that's okay, these seem to actually be long and when you're shopping online, a good indication is to look at the model because usually the models are tall and they're always wearing like a size small. So if the clothes look long on her, you know that they should be pretty good. I can see that this is that almost like light transparent sort of material, but I know that I can clearly dress this up or down, which is always really nice for the summertime and 11.20 for a pair of pants, high-waisted pants is a great deal. I have another pair of pants, but they're more dressy. So let's show you guys a dress first. This dress is a little more on the casual side. Now I found this in store in the sales section. You know how the sales section is like a mess at the back of Forever 21? Well, I found this in store and I was like, oh, you know, it actually looked pretty decent. And they were having like amazing deals in the sales section. The original price of this dress was $19.90. It is a size large, but I paid this $9 and it is for this really cute and casual like spring summer dress. 
It has the wrap style appearance going on here, but it is not a wrap dress. So hopefully it won't be as revealing as we all know wrap dresses can kind of be. It is closed here, but it gives the illusion that it is a wrap dress with this little string on there, but it is basically sewn shut. I love that it has a t-shirt sleeve. I can't get enough of that for the summertime because when I'm wearing a dress and I want to feel casual, I always grab like a t-shirt dress because it's so comfortable and you don't have to worry about the strap of your purse digging into your shoulders, especially for in terms of traveling. I always love t-shirt dresses. So I can't get enough of this. I can't remember what I did with the tag, so I'm going to have to read the price off of here. This is in a size medium. I paid $23 for this, which seems like quite a bit to pay for a skirt, but it was actually on sale online, surprisingly, so I can't remember the original price because like I said, I don't know what I did with the tag. But it is for this really pretty skirt. It is like a wrap skirt and it was quite long. So I'm actually happy that I got a size medium. If I got a size large, I think I would have been swimming in this. It is like this gorgeous peachy camel color with white stripes going down it. Very thin white stripes, super delicate. And I actually don't have anything like this at all in my wardrobe. So I'm curious to see how I'm gonna wear this and how I'm gonna play around with it. I just thought it was really pretty and it looked like very blogger-esque, if you guys know what I mean, you know, when like, like, you see these like Instagram models and they're wearing these like long flowy skirts and like their leg is popping out of like the shot It just reminded me of like an Instagram vlogger So I thought it was cute and the price wasn't bad It was a little more than I would normally pay, but it was it was pretty good Now I've been noticing that when I order off of forever 21 lately I even have another thing to show you it doesn't have the forever 21 tag on it It will have like a different name brand. So this one says Grifflin Paris which is interesting. And then of course they put the Forever 21 tag on it. So the original price of this was $45, which when you see these pants, it's actually pretty good considering, but I paid this $20.30. It is these stunning blush pink pants with these beautiful floral details on the bottom. Like I said, how spring is this? I got these in a size large because they didn't look that, that long on the model as well. And like I said, it has a tie string so I can tighten them with the tie string and feel confident and also these are not stretchy pants by any means so there's no give to them so you should probably maybe even size up in these if you're interested and I bought this online so I never saw it in store so I am really pleasantly surprised with how beautiful these pants look. They are not wide-legged, but they're not tight by any mean. It's sort of like that in-between sort of pant look. So I love these pants and I think it is such a great deal. And I feel like out of most of the things that I bought today, this is like easily one of my most favorite things. Now this dress I got in a size large. The original price is $33.90, but I paid this $14, which is fantastic. Now this print is really making me feel like I bought such a similar dress in one of my other hauls, a different style of course but I feel like I bought a dress almost with like the exact same print <laughs> I guess old habits die hard this is for this pretty almost like plaid looking gray dress really it has some black and some white running down throughout but for the most part it is very gray it has a little bit of that ruching at the um, chest area I really find this flattering when dresses have this going on however when you're buying a dress with this if this is too long where it goes all the way down to your waist it's actually very unflattering and can make you look super boxy. So I actually like that this seems to cut off and still give you like a waist that you can actually visibly see. If that makes sense to you guys at all, I hope so. And now the dress style is sort of that like skater or baby doll style dress, so it flares out. So I thought that this was very pretty and feminine without being like a pink or like floral dress. And I could definitely see myself wearing this on like a trip or something like that. It's really cute, perfect for the daytime, or you could even like like slick this on with a red lip and it'll wear this at night and it will look great. Next, I'm really excited for this dress. I hope that this looks good on me. I got this in a size large, thank God, because it literally looks like, it looks in person, it's so tiny, like almost like a shirt. So I hope that this isn't too short. That's my only problem. Now, like I said, they this was Forever 21, but there's no Forever 21 tag on this. It says Kim 
sign or sign chine i don't know what it's called now it is that really tight clingy material but hopefully this will look flattering on me if i didn't already say the price is 1820 so i can't remember the original price but this was definitely on sale like i said the material is more on like the tight side of things but because there is this ruching down the center i feel like it should look flattering i assume that when i wear this one of my legs will probably come out a little bit because it seems to be the sort of like off balance dress i don't know what the name is for that but it is stunning i love that it is a v-neck so this is a very like sexy dress i would say and definitely more evening appropriate i wouldn't even attempt to really wear this during the daytime and it's pretty cool that forever 21 seems to be having other designers come in because you could really tell a difference but still forever 21 prices so i thought that this was really pretty and i just love this pattern for spring and summertime this dress i picked up in a size large the original price it's doesn't really have it because it has that like sort of makeshift forever 21 tag <laughs> it seems to have been 24 then went on sale for 19 and then i actually got it for nine dollars in the sales section now this is for this really beautiful dress this has a side zipper on the side which is an indication that this is not going to be stretchy this is going to be something that is like very form-fitting this is a deep v in the front and even in the back which should look flattering and it does have a slight sleeve going on so it's not going to be like a full out t-shirt sleeve this was very interesting this reminds me of something that i would take with me on like a tropical vacation but of course i feel like you could also wear this at like nighttime for like a very beautiful summer night sort of look it's super pretty it's like florals done very tastefully and i thought that the price was amazing even if this looks horrible on me i mean with nine dollars for this beautiful dress you really can't go wrong this is a skirt this i got in a size large because i can no way ever wear a size medium in a skirt this short it's like a sute sute short i just wish that forever 21 would just make skirts a little bit longer because even their mini skirts i know that they're supposed to be mini but sometimes they're just ridiculously short so i paid this skirt believe it or not nine dollars i got this on the same day that i just got this dress that i showed you and like almost all of their sale items were nine dollars which i wish i would have known prior this doesn't have the original price it just has this little thing on here so i have no idea what this went for before but i got it in the sale section and it is gorgeous i feel like a lot of things i bought have this like blush peachy pink nude camel tone going on here but it's stunning it has this like overlay of this like really thin lace with these beautiful sequins on top i felt like this was stunning and this is like such a statement skirt i hope that this is not too short on me because i love this but like i said for nine dollars i took the chance and i bought this anyway and i think that it's just absolutely stunning such a statement piece and this definitely screams spring summer to me there's no other season you could really get away with wearing this so i absolutely love this skirt i feel like we're going out with a bang here <laughs> and this is for this stunning dress i paid full price for this so there are no sales going on but the full price reminded me of like why i used to love forever 21 anyway because back in the day they would have gorgeous dresses for reasonable prices the original price of this is 39 90 which is actually great when you see this dress i got this in a size medium because this looked like this was actually like quite a generous fit and it is a long dress so i didn't have to worry about sizing up for the height of things this is definitely not an everyday dress or even really an evening dress i feel like this should make quite the impression it is in this beautiful nude color so it is white and nude and it's just stunning the v-neck is very very modest there is like this area here where it is a little bit more plunging but there is like fabric on top so it's not really revealing it's long it has the overlay like all the way down to the bottom with even more of this lace detailing down <laughs> i feel like this almost looks very bridal but for the price guys 40 dollars for this stunning dress it's like really a showstopper dress i was very impressed with forever 21 i love the colors i love the style and i just thought that such a statement dress for that price was absolutely worth it 
so I was very happy. So guys, that's everything that I ended up picking up at Forever 21. Like I said, a lot of the things I ended up getting were quite on the dressy side of things. However, I felt like even the original price of the things I got were actually pretty decent. So I hope you really did enjoy this Forever 21 haul. I would consider this an affordable haul, but not like my usual $20 or under by all means. If you like videos like this and would like to see more in the future, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Summer is finally right around the corner and I could not be happier so I'm so excited to be able to share with you these spring and summer purchases I made at Forever 21. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy shopping! Bye!